let x n be a convergent sequence of real numbers and uh, x1 is greater than pi plus root 2 we know the value of root 2 is 1.4 something and uh, xn plus 1 is defined as pi plus square root of xn minus pi for n greater than or equal to 1 then which one of the following is the limit of the sequence that means we have to find the limit of this sequence xn so as you can see limit is uh, around uh, pi so limit value is uh, around the pi or maybe pi but uh, all options is related to or uh, somehow around pi so we cannot directly put the answer by intuitive way so we know the to concept if xn is the sequence and limit of this sequence is x then if f is any continuous function then limit of f of xn is equal to uh, limit of xn or fxn tends to fx so this is the one concept you can use here and uh, second one is uh, if uh, limit of xn is uh, l then limit of xn plus 1 is also l so we have to use uh, these two concepts here and we will try to find the limit of this one as uh, x1 is greater than pi plus root 2 and uh, value of root 2 is uh, 1.414 or you can say around 1.5 so x1 is greater than pi plus 1.5 or uh, approximately greater than so you can find x2 is also because uh, 1.5 is given and x2 can be easily find out by pi plus square root of xn minus pi a scientific calculator is in your uh, exam portal so there is no hardness to find the square root of some typical values so you can easily find the values of x2 as uh, x1 is uh, around pi plus 1.5 minus pi and you have to take a square root of this value so pi minus cancel out by pi so 1.5 as a square root value of a square root is 1.5 and value of a square root is 1 so this value is a is value of a square root of 1.5 will be one point uh, something maybe uh, 2 or uh, so value of x2 is uh, you can consider uh, pi plus 1.2 and you can see this is a decreasing sequence as a x1 is this and x2 is this so you can say that uh, x2 uh, sorry sequence is decreasing or you can judge better but we have to find the uh, limit of the sequence as uh, x n plus 1 is given pi plus square root of x n minus pi so as uh, i discussed earlier limit of x n is l then limit of x n plus 1 is also l so limit of x n plus 1 you have to take both side so limit of pi plus l as uh, you use the limit of sum is individual limit and this is the limit of square root of xn minus pi and you can take a limit within the square so this one will be limit of pi this is constant sequence so limit is pi and uh, limit of this expression will be limit of xn minus pi and limit of xn is also l so l minus pi and this was in square root so pi plus square root of this value and limit is xn plus 1 is also l so you can solve this expression to find the value of uh, l so this is a uh, equation in terms of l so you have to take l minus pi and value of this is l minus pi means uh, you have to transpose this term and uh, to remove this square root or uh, you take a uh, square both sides so l minus pi is square equal to l minus pi and uh, take a square uh, expand this uh, bracket so l square plus uh, pi square 
and minus 2 times L pi equal to L minus pi. So this is the value and you have to find the value or limiting value of this one. So or you can write this one is this is L minus pi. So you can take uh, L minus pi as a common. So L minus pi is square minus L L minus pi equal to zero and take L minus pi as a common. So this one is L minus pi minus one equal to zero. So L is equal to pi and uh, L is equal to pi plus one. So we have two values of limit but uh, we have to identify because the limit is unique so limit may not be 2 so as a limit we obtain as pi and uh, pi plus 1 is this is decreasing and we never got uh, value of because our, all terms are somehow greater than pi so limit will be greater than pi so this one is true because in earlier or uh, earlier or a starting point of this video I have stated how uh, this sequence is going to decreasing terms so you can say that uh, limiting value of this sequence is uh, pi plus 1 not uh, pi 